this is Warframe. It's a free-to-play game. I downloaded it last night. It's about 20 gigabyte download for Xbox. And it's got a bit of a learning curve to it because there's a whole bunch of movement stuff that you can do and apparently a ton of Western customization. They don't uh, explain the Western cu uh, weapon customization very well. When you are ready, proceed to the navigation console. Okay, so because I have Twitch Prime, got some free loot here, so we're going to go take a look and see what this loot is that I got. So I got a loot bundle, so we'll open that up. Oh, and then my daily tribute. There we go. And so, now that I've got new loot, I guess I can go back and take a look at what I got. One of the things I got was a Prime Warframe. So what I have now is this Warframe here, which is a brand new one. Uh, one of the newbie Warframes. So I'm just going to go into the arsenal. And... I've got Frost Prime, and I've also got the ability to go with Ash. Oh no, the oh, I'm sorry, the free one I got is Frost Prime, so I'm going to go ahead and equip with Frost Prime. So that's my Warframe now. It's a free-to-play game. You know, a lot of times with these free-to-play games, they're kind of shitty. And so far, Warframe has actually been pretty cool. Uh, it hasn't seemed grindy to me yet. One of the things about free-to-play games is that the grind is usually really intense because they want you to buy stuff. I've only played for like 30, 40 minutes of this game, so I've just gotten like the first two missions out of the way, so I haven't done much. But it hasn't seemed super grindy to me so far. They've given me a lot of stuff, but... As a newbie, they kind of give you a lot of stuff first, and then it slows down and becomes grindier as you go along. But I've been impressed so far by the quality of it. And it's weird, because you don't really hear much about Warframe. People don't talk about it very much. Although, it's one of the most popular games on Steam, and so a lot of people play it. It has about 10 billion levels of customization, as far as I can tell. So... They don't explain that very well. I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do to customize things. And I guess I'm going to have to do some studying outside of the game to try to figure that out. But, like here at the Warframe, I can customize all this stuff. So I guess I'll keep the Frost Prime helmet. I guess I'll keep all the helmets. I know I get a free... Cyandana, whatever that is. I don't know what they do. Um, twin bands symbolize the balance all ten O are sworn to uphold. Okay, there's a whole bunch of story behind this as well. So, okay, I guess I'll equip myself with that. That's, again, part of the free stuff. So all this is the free stuff that you get if you go to Twitch Prime and you link your Twitch Prime account with your Warframe account uh, it ends on the 24th, so it's only going to be here for another five days or so. Speaking of customization, these are my primary colors, but I can also do a lot of customization. A lot of stuff is still locked, as you can see, with the colors. But I can go in and make some changes. I'm not sure I'm seeing anything change in terms of... Oh, there's... That is changing the colors. Okay. So cool. We can do that. That's my primary color, so it's going to be blue, and my secondary color So I'm just going to go through here and do some customization
I'm going to run this thing in Astro's colors, basically, so it's all going to be dark blue and orange. And no notice that a lot of my colors here on just a classic palette is still locked out. So my presumption is that as I level up, I'll get more stuff. Okay, so there I've just changed my C and Donna. And that's just that part of customization. So now I can go through and customize the actual armor itself, which I'm going to go ahead and do. So basically you can spend hours and hours and hours just doing customization in this game. So that's my, my uh, Warframe. So now I've got my gun. And obviously you want your gun to match clearly. So we're going to uh, copy the Warframe colors for my gun. Oh, there we go. Alright. Because the well-dressed Tenno, that's what you're called. You're called a Tenno. Uh, it's apparently some warrior class of people who survived what they call the Great War. Well, so the well-dressed Tenno needs to have everything color-coordinated. Yeah, you'll go in front of the camera, but... I'm curious as to whether the camera follows you or follows me. I know you don't want to be on camera, baby. Okay, so now everything is on Warframe colors, so I've done that. I'm not going to waste a lot of time doing a whole bunch of cu customization, not in the Twitch stream. This gives me what I want, but I have this new, um, this new Warframe, and it's one of the better Warframes, apparently. So it's nice getting this as a newbie for a free gift. I can equip myself with a companion of some sort, if I pay for it. Um... And I have some credits. I have 15,626 credits. So I can equip myself with a companion. And so I'm just going to buy this companion, one of the cheap companions. I have eight open slots. So I'll purchase this. Insufficient platinum. Oh, I don't have platinum. Ah, so I can't purchase that. Well, I guess I don't get a companion yet. All right, well, I don't really have much. Oh, I do have some emotes that I can use. Alright, well, I'm not sure when I would ever do that emoting, but I can... So now Warframe, it's in my colors, I'm all matched up, so I'm a handsome Warframer now. So now let's go play a mission, let's actually uh, do some stuff. Again, I'm still learning, it's a big learning curve pretty much to everything in this game. 
and I am just starting that learning curve. So let's play the game though and run this mission. There's my cursor. I'll pick this particular mission. The colony is unresponsive. Get to the surface so we can see what's going on. Oh, I joined a squad. There's a lot of other players here, so let's see how it is to play with people. I've never actually played with anyone before, so this will be an interesting experience. I was afraid of this. The Grenier are here, and I cannot find any signs of living colonists. You still have a job to do. Find the Foundry segment. This was once a prosperous, independent colony, until the Grineur arrived. The Queens fear you, but I will show them. Their love will return when I deliver you to them. Tenno, are you there? The signal cannot be boosted any further. Hurry, you are running out of time. You're on the sensors now. You've been detected. Alarms reset. You located the foundry segment. Now pick it up. One step closer to completion. Now, there is one more thing you need to do. Eliminate all Grenier and provide justice for the colonists. Soon the worm will be in your spine, and I will control this war frame of yours. I will purge your doting mother and bring you home.
I guess I should have followed these guys instead of hanging around where I was. But hey, I'm picking up a lot of cool stuff, though. Which is really the point of this game. What I'd really like to do is do this just entirely solo and not have to play with anybody else, really. I have no idea how to get to where I'm supposed to be. Don't know where it is, don't know where the extraction point is. Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. I don't know what I did or what I didn't do. What I do know is that I do not like to work and play well with others. Okay, so I picked up some new stuff, I guess. Um, not entirely sure what that new stuff is or how it works. Again, this game doesn't do a great deal of in-game explanation of its complexity, and it really is a pretty com complex game. Ready for installation, operator. Will, will the operator build us a full launch replacement? So foundry now I have a restored. foundry. Here, the operator will craft many powerful weapons and tools to exact revenge for dismantling me. To expand your arsenal. Oh no. Operator, our component storage has been looted as well. Typical corpus. Sure, the blueprint is free, but jack up the components. Operator, we will need resources in order to build the countermeasure blueprint. Tenno, I just received a very explicit message from your ship, Sevlon. If you're looking for resources, why didn't you just say so? I know just the place, but I demand an apology. My mother is no gymnast, and she would never eat those things. You can go straight to... Operator, I am sorry. Wow. You may want to get a new ship, Sevlon, when you can afford it. <laughs> That one seems glitched. I've marked your navigation with a place I know. It's good for resources. If you can stand the cold. Okay, well, there's resources that I need to get this thing off of my Warframe. And I still have portions of the ship here that, like my incubator, whatever that is, that's offline, so i still got to be able to do that. Mods. So I guess these are all the mods that I have.
I think I just left a squad. So we'll start this mission here, I guess, on my next run through. Anyway, I'm just learning. It's an interesting game, and it seems pretty well done for a free to play. Um, but this is Warframe. It's kind of interesting. It's very complex. And for a free to play game, it's got quite a lot of stuff that goes into it. And I'm pretty impressed by it. And it looks like the kind of game that is one of the. I'll go back to and play this game when I'm in between missions or I'm tired of other games. I can always go back here and do a little more looting. So that's what Warframe is. Like I said, big learning curve. Lots to it. A huge load of complexity. But pretty fun. And so far, I haven't played a di paid a dime to play it. So we'll see if later on it gets really grindy. Anyway, thanks for watching this one. And we'll be back with another one soon.